Okay, Forrest, good afternoon. How are you? Fine, thank you. Uh, we would like to know your opinion about the, the project of the cool water. Yes, uh, Agua Fria. The cold water is a residential project outside of Phoenix on uh, agriculture land that was changed from agriculture to community development. And it was intended uh, in, uh, in the states what we call a blue-collar community, a community for working people, people who could, wanted to have a house and maybe did not own a house up to this point. And so the idea was to create an affordable golf community, one that the people could afford the house and yet have a nice community with parks, a clubhouse, golf course, uh, and the nearby shopping. Uh, cold water is, um, in rough terms, um, uh, about uh, 3,000 people, uh, about 1,200 houses, apartments, condominiums. There's a school. Uh, it's a, a network of roads and streets, and the golf course forms a linear park through the, the whole property. And uh, what was once very flat land uh, was created about one million cubic meters of uh, uh, dirt earthwork, dirt moving, uh, land moving, to create the drainage, uh, to create the interest for the golf course, to create the landscape areas, uh, and uh, importantly, like I mentioned, to create a park for the community. And I think it's a nice model because it's very affordable. Um, we did not spend too much in the development. Uh, everything was very controlled so that the houses would remain affordable. One of the biggest problems in developing communities is overextending the budget. And when you do that, the golf costs more money to play, the houses cost more money to purchase, and the community costs more money to take care of. And these are the things that can lead to uh, disaster. And so at Coldwater, we have a sustainable community um, that's affordable, and it remains affordable, and yet it's very fun, very entertaining for the people who live there.